last night's draft brings back memories of the 1986 draft uh, when star basketball player Lynn Dias was picked, Lynn Bias was picked second overall by the Boston Celtics. Leonard Kevin, known as Len Bias, who's a first-team All-American, uh, a forward out of uh, University of Maryland, of course. His younger uh, brother, Jay Bias, unfortunately died a few years later. But, of course, it was Len a couple days after that uh, dying of a cocaine overdose. Uh, we are honored to have uh, their mother with us today, Dr. Lenise Bias. It is an honor to have you with us. As I was sharing with you a moment ago off camera, I was a high school senior headed to college mm -hmm. when, when the, this Lynn's tragedy happened. I had never done drugs before. I never, ever did drugs mm -hmm. because of Lynn. Well, um, first of all, thank you for having me on on mm -hmm. this day, the um, 19, uh, 2015 uh, NBA Draft Day. But we have received responses like that for almost the past 29 years, people saying that after Len's death, they never touched drugs. Mm -hmm. And they talk to people about not using drugs, but more specifically, they key in on, on their own children, their own family, mm -hmm. and their family members telling them the dangers of drugs. And I have run into, um, have many occasions where um, individuals have come to me that are educators and they say they use Len's story all of the time. Uh, what uh, almost two generations mm -hmm. later mm -hmm. so in death Len is still bringing life he has a wonderful legacy and, yes. and I'm, I'm a part of that and so certainly it is again an honor to have you here thank you I can't imagine and there's so much I want to get to I, I want to ask you very quickly um, I can't imagine the, the pain of that moment and the celebration that comes with that um, yes. and then to have that news um, and I'm sure that almost 30 years later that that pain still is still there well, one of the things that have kept my family and I are is our faith. Mm -hmm. And um, I tell anyone, a mother grieves from her womb. Mm -hmm. And it is one of the most unbearable situations you could ever deal with. And when we heard of Lynn's death, it was absolutely unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people have come to me and said, I can't imagine losing a child. And I tell them it's a hundred times worse than you think it is. Um, getting that news just at the time that it looked like that uh, Len would succeed, mm -hmm. it all went downhill. Mm -hmm. well, how has that inspired your work now that you do in the community and that you the, the work, the public speaking that you do? Well, um, I have said for years consistently that I believe that Len was a seed that went, Len and Jay both were seeds mm -hmm. that went down into the ground mm -hmm. to bring forth life. Len a drug related death, a Jay a uh, death due to violence. Mm -hmm. And I have used these two young men's deaths as an opportunity to travel throughout the nation encouraging both young people and adults alike. And more specifically today parents. It's mm -hmm. Uh, so trying today with so many um, choices that young people have to make and parents don't know which way to turn so we bring messages of hope to parents as well. Out of um, Len's death and Jay's death we have the Len and Jay Bias Foundation but my business is B Speaks International. Okay. We are a life investment company. Uh, we believe that hope is is not extinct and we bring um, new solutions to old problems and we believe that the families our communities and our young people are reachable teachable lovable and savable we must change our approach in adapting to their needs and I'm sure when you walk in to any room around the world people listen because of your story you have a book I know you're working on as well can you tell us what that's about and do you have a title yet yes the book is B speaks life Okay. Bee Speaks Life, Turning okay. Lemons into Lemonade. <laughs> and I want to uh, talk, in the book I talk about the lemons that life offers us and mm -hmm. the strategies and the process that are so difficult to get the lemonade. Mm -hmm. But the lemonade is the goal. Okay, and that book, do you have a target date when it's going to be uh, released? We're hoping to have it out this fall. Okay, uh -huh. okay. Well, good luck with that. Thank, Thank you. you for all that you do. And again, the legacy left behind by the Bias family. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Great to see you. Dr. Lenise Bias, and again, the book coming out here this fall. Thank you again. Thank you. And, uh, and thanks. We'll see you soon.